President Museveni has called upon exporters in the country to continue investing in value addition, which will improve the manufacturing base and industrialize the economy. He said Uganda's economy has grown over the years in terms of total output realized, tax revenue collected, the products exported, and the market base. He said continuous efforts should be undertaken to recognize and salute those who contribute towards boosting the country's export base. Our economy has grown over the years from a miserable total output in 1986 of 5.2 uh, billion plus dollars to over 27 billion dollars by the end of last year. Correspondingly, in 1986, tax revenue collections were less than 5 billion Uganda shillings, and by the end of uh, the last financial year, total revenue collections had increased to 12.7 trillion shillings. Museveni said government agencies tasked with the duty to promote investment and enhance exports should strengthen efforts to remove barriers that hinder doing business. He stressed that government will continue to focus on enhancing infrastructure that promotes the country's export business. The key driver to the expansion of the export market have included efforts aimed at reducing the cost of doing business such as expanding the road network and investing in infrastructure in general. And this has been uh, referred to earlier, railway, ICT, and now we'll be making the national area. We have put more money into expanding electricity generation from 60 megawatts in 1986 to 9 100 megawatts today. Upon the completion of the Simba, yes, it's worth clapping that can go from 60 megawatts to 900 megawatts. Upon the completion of the Simba, Karuma, Ayago, and Atra, our annual generation of electricity would be about 2,600 uh, megawatts. The president urged exporters to work on consolidating international trade gains and also comply with the necessary regulatory requirements of both domestic and international markets. He pledged continuous government commitment towards providing an enabling environment for the private sector. The Minister of Trade, Industry and Cooperatives, Amelia Chambade, said Uganda seeks to increase value addition in its exports to enhance foreign exchange and boost industrialization. She thanked government for the enablers it has put in place to promote the country's exports. For example, we can't take peace and stability for granted. The regulatory framework, of course the internet, but upon the markets, trade facilitation supported by Timea, for example, border markets, border posts, single window systems, the chairman of Uganda Export Promotion Board, Nimrod Waniela, said the agency has already implemented a five-year export strategy in line with the country's National Development Plan 2 and the National Export Development Strategy, which will help define the institution's framework to support exports. He said the annual president's export award ceremony is aimed at awarding individuals and companies who have engaged and excelled in exporting. The awards were in three main categories, namely the Platinum Award, the Gold Award, and the Silver Award. However, special awards were also given to the Woman Exporter of the Year, Regional Exporter of the Year, and Embassy of the Year. Uganda's Embassy in Abu Dhabi won the Embassy of the Year Award. The overall winner of the President's Export Award 2017 was Hima Cement Limited, which scooped the Platinum Award. Doreen Nasasra, UBC News.